That looks too dangerous. I think we'll just wait here for a better option. Damn, hero. Oh, it's getting heavy. Try and find another way.
Hey, man. Watch where you going. Thank God you found a way. Dude sounds loony enough, all right. Looks like we found our crazy king. Let me try to reason with him. Yeah, right. Good luck. <sighs> Kill them. Kill them all. Yes, yes. Only we to be certain. Make them all pay. Eh? Infidels, you dare invade my sanctum? I am King Jareth, ruler of all surrounding lands. You have desecrated my castle with your presence. By what right do you so brazenly violate the peace in my realm? Peace? You gotta be kidding me. Shh. We came only to seek an audience with you. We have no intention of disrupting the, uh, peace in your kingdom. Oh, really? Is that why you so callously decimated my allies? With all due respect, your highness, they attacked us without provocation. Indeed. And just who are you? My name is Hiro Miyamoto. These are my friends, Superfly Johnson and Mikiko Ebihara. We are merely foreigners from a faraway land who have gotten lost on our way home. Ah, yes. Nar warned me of your coming. Heathens, all of you. You murdered my family. And now you wish to usurp my throne. No, that's not true. Please, you've got to believe me. We mean you and your people no harm. In fact... We were hoping you'd be willing to use the vast powers at your command to help us get back to where we came from. In exchange, we offer... Lies. All lies. But I speak the truth. I, I swear it. We even brought you the... Silence. I'll suffer no more of your filthy lies. It's high time you three were put to death. Even if that means soiling my hands to dispose of you myself. So what now? The king's down, but by no means out for the count, and he's still a basket case. I... Musilde. I was wondering when you'd show up. I have been monitoring your progress. You have done well. Only one task remains. I believe this belongs to you, your highness. The... the... the purifier! Restored to its former glory. How did you... King Gareth, are you all right? I'm not sure. Everything has been so muddled for so long. I feel... reborn. Like a great fog has been lifted from my soul. Then it worked. The purifier restored your sanity. Praise the Maker. It's good to see you back to your old self, my liege. I... Uh, but what about the plague? 
My people are still dying in droves from its effects. Even your companions have been afflicted, and I can't help but feel at least partly responsible. It's not too late to make amends. You can still save your people. How? Oh. I could have sworn I saw a formula for an antidote in Nar's lab. I'm no chemist, though. I don't know the first thing about mixing potions, especially ones involving magic. Perhaps Mussoli can help. My knowledge of the arcane healing arts is somewhat limited, but I'll see what I can do. Please hurry. I don't know how much longer our friend can hold on. Hmm. Who? Where? It's okay. Everything's fine now. I feel so strange. Whole body's tingling. Relax. That's just the antidote taking effect. Antidote? Oh god, the plague. I remember now. Does this mean I'm cured? That's right. I'll explain everything later. King Gareth? I hope that this serves as sufficient proof that the antidote works. It does indeed. Musili, I want you to make sure the antidote is administered throughout the land to those who need it. Of course, sire. I'll get on it at once. How can I ever thank you? My subjects and I are forever in your debt. If there is anything we can do for you in return, you must not hesitate to ask. Actually... There is something. My companions and I are on a quest of sorts, and this sword is our only means of continuing our journey. Unfortunately, the blade has been drained of its power, so we were hoping... Well, Musilde once suggested that the purifier might contain sufficient energy to recharge it. I see. Don't give it to him, Hiro! Mikiko, please! Our only hope of getting out of here lies in trusting King Gareth. And it's a leap of faith I'm willing to make. Here you go, Your Highness. It is done. I wish you good fortune during your travels. Thank you. All right, folks. We've lingered here long enough. Time to find Mishima and give him his comeuppance. My patience with you is wearing thin. Surrender and I promise to make your death swift and painless. Never! Do you not realize how futile it is to resist? No one can escape my grasp. You're full of it, Mishima. You're nothing but a petty tyrant and a coward. Like your ancestors before you. And we're gonna take you down. <sighs> Give it up, Kage. You're no match against those who serve the path of honor and justice. It's over. I hate to break it to you, hero, but your confidence in your companion's loyalty to your cause is misplaced. What are you talking about? You're so gullible it's pathetic. Haven't you figured it out yet? I'd have thought that Yusagi's ghost would have warned you about placing your faith in allies who are not worthy of your trust. Especially after the way he was betrayed before his untimely death. Just shut up already. I won't let you confuse me with your lies. Believe what you will, the truth will come out in the end. Ooh, smells nasty in here. Wonder where we are. Or more importantly, when? Looks like we're in some sort of jail. It's too bad you haven't figured out how to control our time jumps. Actually, I, I've got a feeling it's just a matter of clearing my thoughts and focusing on an intended destination. At least that's what I tried during our last attempt. 
But Mishima threw us off course before we had a chance to find out if we were headed in the right direction. If I'm right, we should be somewhere in the early 21st century. Hopefully the year 2030, which is where Mishima first showed up when he set out to change history. So you really think we're finally where we want to be at? Won't know for sure until we ask someone. But yeah, I think so. Then our first priority is to bust out of here. I'll second that. I've had my feel of prison cells. Think he can help us? <laughs> Just leave it to me. I bet your rap sheet's longer than the range on my ion blaster. You got a name? What's your angle? Name's Ratchet Cassidy. Arson, porn, kidnapping. <laughs> you name it, I've done it. A real jack of all trades, huh? Looks like we've come to the right man. We need some information. Well, <laughs> I didn't just say so. I'd be more than happy to help you folks out. Uh, <laughs> for a price. Uh, I got a counteroffer. Tell us what we want to know and maybe you'll come out of this with your limbs still attached to the rest of your body. I'd cooperate with my friend here if I were you. It's not wise to cross him. Especially when he's got a serious mad on going. I... I, I can see that. You're in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Deep inside of Alcatraz. You know, the rock. <laughs> I, I take it you heard of it. The world's most famous high security prison. Yeah, we heard of it all right. So why the open cell doors? Alcatraz is an open cage. Choppers dump new prisoners into the main yard like so much garbage. What year is it? Year? <laughs> Where are you folks been? All right, hey, chill, man. It's 2030, okay? Tell me, what's it like on the outside? Anything strange been going on recently? You mean other than society as we know it going down the crapper? How so? Uh, gangs pretty much took over the city some years ago. Then the army came in and got them on the run. Military's been increasing their presence in the private sector ever since. Sounds like Kage has already established a major power base in this time period. This reeks of his methods. Wouldn't surprise me in the least if his influence extended to the military and their higher-ups. Did you say Mishima? There's a research center in the city by that name. Really? Looks like we found our next port of call.